The first thing I'm going to do is to introduce you to the co-founders of Asteroid Day. And the first one of those people uh, is one of those people who needs no introduction whatsoever. Um, and so traditionally, I'm going to give him one anyway. It's Dr. Brian May, astrophysicist and Queen guitarist. Dr. May couldn't be with us here today, but he's recorded a number of uh, messages, videos, and we're going to hear the first one of those right now. The first asteroid day last year, 2015, was a huge success and it made a start in raising global awareness of a possible asteroid strike. The next asteroid day is June the 30th, 2016 and we're encouraging people to mount their own events on that day and make asteroid day truly global. So schools, universities, museums, um, we have lots of material on the website and please get into it and help to raise global awareness. Thank you, Brian. The next now it's time to hear from Brian May again. And this time, Dr. May will be introducing us to the ESA um, Asteroid Inter Impact Mission. I do have a particular personal fascination with asteroids. My own PhD thesis was based on the very smallest of these asteroids, the dust which inhabits the whole of our solar system and gives rise to the zodiacal light in the sky. I want to tell you about an experiment which will enable for the first time a human-made object to rendezvous with a binary asteroid. Why is this important? Why do we want to rendezvous with an asteroid? Well, we need to know what would happen if one of these asteroids hits the Earth. We need also to try and avoid that happening. And this experiment is actually to try and see what happens if you hit an asteroid with an object. Does it deflect it? It may very well do, that's the theory. But every theory needs testing. So we're talking about asteroid impact, but this is not doom and gloom. This is us actually doing something. And one day it could save all our lives, or our children's, or our grandchildren's. Thank you, Brian.